Hi, everyone. I'd like to tell you about some exciting work I've been doing at the University of Washington on synthesizing collection data. Data structures are everywhere. They're an integral part of programming. And you'll find standard libraries in every mainstream language, C++, that implement common data structures and lists. And these are applicable in a lot of different domains. They solve so often, you're going to need something more complicated. And writing your own data structure is tedious and error prone. It's a difficult process. A tool called Cozy that simplifies this process. You provide for a data structure you want, and we can take you all the way to the that implements that data structure, and you can paste it into your code base. Uh, throughout the talk. But the takeaways here are that construction. Uh, they can eliminate programmer magnitude shorter and simpler than the original implementation. You can construct the implementations in less than 90 seconds. And uh, the performance equivalent to the performance of handwritten implementations. Structure uh, is in this distributed database system called Myria. Uh, client queries, and it logs its own internal describing what is happening in the database as it does on the, on the screen here. Each piece of a particular client request, and it has a start and end and finished. And this analytics data powers a visualizer that shows the important operations that were taking place at any given time and shows you a breakdown to help you debug In order to make this visualizer work at interactive speeds, Miriam needs to be able to quickly find associated with a particular request and fall within a particular time span. The interface for the data structure they need looks a bit like this. There's one method, log, data structure. And another method, get entries, that takes a couple of parameters related and a start and an end time and returns to you an iterator that you can analytics entries associated with that particular request and that time. The implementation for this data structure is rather complicated. The application is actually not much larger than the interface alone. And this is a cozy specification I've written here you want to store in the collection. In this case, it has very ID and a start and an end time. And the switch over when you're looking for entries. So in this case, you want to match up, the fragment IDs match up, and that the entry is in. Uh, Cozy computer in general, for any specification that describes these retrieval routines with a predicate describing what you want to do. Build you something with add, remove, and update methods, as well as the retrieval routine. Now, for specifications of this form, there's actually a trivial solution. We don't have to do any synthesis work at all. Looking for a retrieval routine that gives you things matching a particular predicate, just store everything in a list. And when you need to get some entries, walk over that list and just don't return the ones that don't match. This is do it in a minute. Uh, but there's often so much structure in these predicates that we could exploit. There has to be a better way able to accelerate things or a binary search tree. And that's what we're really looking for here. So it's in track base of all possible programs for the ones that are good. We've broken down the synthesis problem into two steps, with an intermediate step called an outline. And the key thing to remember about outlines is that enough that we can assign an asymptotic cost to them, but to implementation details early. And an outline program. Functional programs for retrieving subsets of the 
possible primitives, and so I'm just going to walk through them real quick. All. I want to get all of the data that's current. The next one is hash lookup. You can all of those entries, assume that hopefully they're arranged in a hash table, and do a some equality predicate. Similarly, you could have a binary search over a sorted array or find entries that match some inequality. You could take two outlines, compute their result sets, and the result set. Or you could take an outline and filter a smaller result set. To give you some intuition for how these behave, I'm going to talk about the second half, which is how we go from an outline to an actual implementation once we It looks a bit like this. Here's an outline on the left, a hash lookup to find ones that match some equality in this skeletal data structure implementation. We're going to start nodes, which is these all nodes here. Each one of these into a field on the data structure with based on how it's used. In this case, and we're going to do a hash lookup over it. So we would hope that this t parameter here, to figure out the key type, what exactly it is that we're looking up, given in the specification, the programmer had to give us the type of query. In this case, suppose it was int type for the hash map. It's relatively un here is that it has to be something we can iterate over to actually get. Uh, our tool, Cozy, knows about two. You can store your entries in an array list, or you could store your entries in a list as well. And Cozy doesn't have a reason to prioritize one over the other. Pies, in this case, we asked the programmer to provide something they think is a representative workload that they can uh, to decide which of these to pick in practice. So once we've decided on one, before we even get to that step, we have to implement the remaining functions. To implement the retrieval routines, it's quite straightforward. Us an idea for how that program should look. And we can To implement the uh, add, remove, and update, we just look at this type we infer. Implement add, remove, and update in terms of now this procedure, which is to take a specification and to implement it. To do this in synthesis called counterexample guided in a couple of twists, but I'll give you a walkthrough for how it works. Components together. We have an inductive synthesizer that inputs and gives us a candidate, a candidate out that behaves correctly on all of those inputs. The other half is a verifier. And either tells us, yes, this is correct, an input on which it doesn't work. In the latter case, synthesizer, and it will restart, trying to give us on all of the previous examples plus this additional example. In terms of the verifier, what we're really lines is that they behave correctly on all possible and all possible data structure states. That is, the data structure could be in and all possible inputs, we return exactly those elements that satisfy the predicate. I told you the asymptotic cost associated with these outlines, and I'll describe that before I show how it helps us with this synthesis. Outlines that do the same thing. We're going to take all the entries query ID matches a queue that we give. We could, like we saw in the trivial solution at the beginning, and that will probably be faster asymptotically. Remember that all is going to turn into a field on the data structure. 
deep. We can do it in constant time. Actually, it can work. We might have to walk over every single entry in that result set. In contrast, to do work to find the reference to all the entries. And then so the cost for doing the filter is much greater than the cost. And Cozy is always going to prefer outlines that have lower asymptotes. So to show you how this works in the inductive through the steps that it takes. We're going to enumerate start from the smallest one. There's only one such outline and it's going to and in the next iteration, we build up everything we can make that's one size larger. Do a hash lookup on these elements, or we could do a filter, or we could do a binary search, or maybe a number of other things. You'll find that some of these are duplicates. Identical things, but one of them is better than the other. So in this example, we're doing a hash lookup to find why. And we're also, in the same set, we have a We can use the cost model to say, let's drop the less good one. This is always a safe optimization to make. In the synthesis step, when we're building yet larger things out of these primitives, if we were to use either the, concat the hash lookup or the filter in, say, the first position of a concatenation, it's going to be a better choice because the cost model is monetized possibly use the filter to presentation. So dropping this here is safe. The ones we dropped, and we just look at the things we can build out of everything in the previous iteration. And we find something that looks correct with respect to all of the examples we have so far. We verification. Here's an example specification that I've written out. And for which entries you want to retrieve from the data structure. Formally, what we want is all the elements in the And if we're comparing this to some uh, candidate outline, construct what we call a representative predicate. What us is this is an outline exactly those is to determine all data structure states and all possible inputs. This predicate P is equal to Q for all possible inputs. A fantastic result because it means that we don't need to all possible data structure states. We only need to add a set of inputs and a single arbitrary entry. Find such an example. We can prove that there are states in which the outline misbehaves. And if we can find a unary set containing just the element, we can check this formula very efficiently using an SMT set solves the verification problem. In our evaluation, we're interested we want the data structures that we synthesize to improve the correct then we want to somehow save programmers and using the tool to be easier than writing the implementations in the first I'd like to do both of these things while matching the the human programmers would have written. And we evaluated four different case studies and found that we we're able to achieve all of these. So let's look at what those case studies were. The first one I've already described to you, it's Myria, which is this analytics uh, database that needs to store its own logs of what's happening as it runs. The second one is Ztopo, which is a graphical topological map acting with the map and panning around, it has to download tiles from network and cache. And there are a lot of very tricky invariants while it's tracking sort of the states that these tiles. 
The next one is Bullet. Bullet is actually a live physics simulation. One of the things that Bullet will do for you the first phase of collision detection is to just find intersections between bounding boxes. And they use a space partitioning tree to make that partitioning tree is something that we can synthesize with COSY. Uh, and finally, we looked at SAT4J, which is a Boolean satisfiability solver that's been implemented in Java. It has to track a lot of information associated with each very structure for doing this, which we can also synthesize with COSY. There were always original implementation days or weeks or in Zetopo doesn't have a dedicated how many correctness bugs existed there. I'm happy to say that Cozy doesn't suffer from any of these issues. The implementations that come out of our tool, you can plug in and they have none of these bugs. In terms of how the specifications compare to the original implementations, the tool are very, very small. So here you can see the original sizes of each data structure that we replaced and the size of the specification that we needed to write each one. Never more than about 25 lines long, and the original thousands. This graph is broken down into two uh, an outline from your specification, and the second part, the green part, shows takes us to auto-tune, which is to decide between all the possible concrete implementations of that outline, which one is actually going to be best for your workload. I should mention that the tool will happily spend as long as you'll let it try for the specification. In practice, however, as it finds better and better outlines, it lowers and lowers and lowers and keeps the search space down. And of 30 seconds it's already found for all of these data structures. 30 seconds. Finally, we compared the performance. No world bench. Look like this. They show you. during the execution of the benchmark. Among the benchmark, there's a slight gap due to cache effects. Slightly better, because it is slightly more slight gap due to cache effects. Slightly better, because it is slightly more The synthesized implementation, they are asymptotically the same. It's to use a binary search tree, sort of arrange down the tree. A nice aspect of general purpose version of the bullet data structure that can, in the case of In the case of SAT4J, 15% overhead, it's a satisfiability. 
structure of the by the specific data structure. And we're able to world benchmark, we across the board. Individual that's happening in the application. Out that the original the one that presentation is worse. All of time in the world. Tree, which brings this in a vacuum. Uh, people were looking into to pick a data structure that watching over it later. This worked via a series of. To pick a data structure that we're watching over it later. This worked via a series of because it's come up with uh, a rule that Uh, which materialized views and indices uh, it's a very even more recently than that Peter Hawkins There, the strategy was as many possible representations. For what we've done that's different here is we've actually swapped the order of operations. Instead of picking a representation, what we've done that's different here is we've actually swapped the order of operations. Instead of picking a representation, Correct representation from that. Require far fewer calls. That wraps up my talk. You can find that we can synthesize. Immediate representation of an out. That's my talk. Thank you for coming. Question. that your uh, selection may be for the specific bench. About that. So if I understood that tuning benchmark, if
the option where you just store everything in a list. Uh, mostly, but microphone this time. Uh, I can tell it what I expect. Benchmark because he was now. I should also say that our auto tuning benchmark workload to work with. To work with. Hi. Uh, when you extend different data structures, that may be um, and. Something like that. So, go out the, um, and something like that. So, go out those uh, less good versions. That's not always going to be equivalent to the hash lookup. We're not too aggressive in what we throw out. 